I'm a little bit worried. I'm sure Fennec will win, but it's not going to be easy. No, I don't think it will be easy, but uh, anyway, Fennec is a great champion. Villasana, a wonderful challenger. Whatever happens to Jeffrey tonight, well, you know, destiny will decide, but uh, he has been a great champion. Okay, give me a few Okay, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. There's the good luck to both of you, voice of the referee, Joey Cortez. There's Fennec and uh, Johnny Lewis parting gesture there. And the rumble, the brawl, the battle, call it what you will, is about to get underway now at the National Tennis Centre in Melbourne. Here we go for round one. Jeff Fennec, for the first time in a beard and moustache, here we go for round one. Big roar goes up. Fennec and Villasana. Villasana, the first punch of the fight. Fennec pokes out the left. Good left from Villasana. Underneath with a low blow goes Villasana. Over the top and the rumble's on. Villasana taking the fight to Fennec straight away. He doesn't want to be intimidated. He knows that he has to keep Fennec going backwards and not forward. The Mexican, certainly, already a couple of low blows. And if he wants to rumble, Fennec will do it. Good luck by Fennec. Fennec's superior hand speed, already evident. Over the top goes Villasana. Gee, that was low. it does go low. That almost hit Fennec on the knees. Well, only in the fight half a minute and Villasana's already banged him in low. Yes, and uh, now straightening Fennec up with some uh, good punches. Fennec underneath with a, with a great right underneath. Pokes good. the left out to Villasana again. Round one of a 12 three-minute round contest the championship rounds jeff fennec defending his title for the third time here in melbourne fennec just banged villasana with the shoulder into the body that's one of fennec's best attacks it certainly is tough as teak is jeff fennec the merrickville Ma mauler against the man from acapulco and look at the war from these two great and i mean great featherweights here both just right on the nine stone limit low again Villasana wants to stand there with Fennec. He won't take a backward step. No, he won't. And, uh, well, one of them's got to... Uh, to oh, that good by Villasana. Good left hook. And underneath again. again. He's going to get and a warning He's going to get a warning from Cortez. Low blow from Villasana. Keep it, it up, says the referee. But look at Fennec. He wants to rumble. It'll be a low blow from Far. Fennec goes after him in the neutral corner. Underneath goes Jeff Fennec now. The elbow now from well, Fennec. Right Fennec goes right by Fennec as he chases Villasana and lets him know who is boss here in this ring at the National Tennis Centre. Jeff Fennec didn't appreciate that low blow. Villasana's hit him low about five times already in this fight, Zorb. Yeah, he certainly has. And there's a poking out left by Villasana. Good left by Fennec. That's Another the... good left by Fennec. That's finding his mark early in the fight. That Fennec jab is going to be the dominant weapon, I feel. But Villasana's left hook to the body may shorten Fennec up a little. Yes, and here's Fennec chasing Fennec the Mexican Fennec. now. And Fennec going after Villasana. As as and he point. throws him across the ring. Villasana says, what am I in against here? Well, if Villasana wants to be rough, Fennec can be more rough. Yes, he certainly can, going back to the streets of Murrayville, as we suggested he might. And the referee, Joe Cortez, from the United States, working overtime. Good left underneath by Fennec. What a round, what a start to this fight. It is a two-man war. A right by Fennec, evaded by Villasana. Villasana just wrong-footed in there, Zorb. Yes, he certainly did. He slowed up a bit, the Mexican. Oh, great right oh, by Oh, good Fennec. shot by Fennec. Certainly a great right end. A left after the bell. And Joey Cortez, the referee, has really got a fight on his hands. Listen to the fans roar their delight here. Villasana's best weapons was that left hook to the body which strays south of the border so often. I think Fennec's going to start to bang away with that jab. And the referee Cortez walking uh, over to Villasana's corner off camera and warning the Mexican corner that uh, he has got to keep his punches up. Right throughout the... Here we go to the replay, Zorb. There's a There's big low, a low one. Look blow. how low that was. Yeah, that was uh, almost hitting Fennec on the knee area, but uh, it certainly hurt the champion, and he came back in uh, in devastating style. Well, he was stung back into action, Zorb. 
right throughout the lead up to this fight, Fennec has maintained, he's told me many, many times that the weapon is going to be the double jab and bring Villasana onto the uppercut. And that's just what he started to do at the end of that round. He was bringing Villasana onto the left and right uppercut. As we go into round two, here they go for round two. Here we go. Come on, says the referee, Joe Cortez. He doesn't have to tell these two fellows to get into it. They love it. And only one will emerge as the WBC champion tonight. Will it be Jeff Fennec again? Or will it be the Mexican Martin Villasana? This is where Fennec is so on the road. Look at Fennec go after him. And he hits him from behind. OK, and he gets a warning for that. And Fennec certainly uh, meeting left Villasana. There's a good left by Villasana. He goes underneath but again. Fennec clearly stronger now again. Yes. Look at Fennec go away. after him. No behind the head, he's warning to Fennec. Fennec chasing after Villasana now. He's just mauling the Mexican. Well, that's what he does best. He mauls so well. Villasana always threatened to use illegal tactics. Cortez, the referee, warned him before the fight that he wouldn't tolerate it. He's going to have his work cut out tonight because... Oh, Fennec hit him as he it. slipped. It was a slip by Villasana, and Fennec tried to nail him as he went down. Fennec chasing the Mexican now. Oh, this is a rough house here. We expected it, and it is on. Fennec now has Villasana just on the ropes near the neutral corner. Villasana fights his way out. Fennec hitting hard and coming in with the elbow too. He's warned him again for a low blow. Fennec chasing him now. Nails him with the right. Villasana leads out that left. But a bit of power has gone out of the Mexican's punching. And he realises he's in against Fennec, the machine. Fennec, oh, Fennec hits him with a right. Then goes underneath again. Over the top goes Fennec. Fennec. Oh, and Villasana looks and says, what am I doing in here? Villasana is so tough, though, Zorb. He knows it's going to be a rough night. Fennec pulling him back into the ropes. And look at Fennec unload. Fennec unloading and dominating the fight now. And the Mexican being met with his own tactics for the first time, I would say. And he is just wondering when this dynamo from Sydney, Australia, is going to stop coming in at him. A good left from Fennec. And a right over the top misses from Villasana. The key to the fight is Fennec's pressure. Villasana has never encountered pressure the way that Fennec can exert it. There is no better interrogator of a man's resi resilience than Jeff Fennec. Every he's... time the Mexican looks up, Fennec is there. He's right in front of him. And he's raining blows now on the Mexican. A devastating performance by Jeffrey Fennec. The Mexican, as game as they come, handling the pressure well. When Jeff Fennec's warned the ropes, for pulling the head Villasana down. is in more trouble than John Oh, Kruger. great right by Fennec. Tremendous right by Fennec. The batteries have gone out of the Mexican jumping bean at the moment. It's all Fennec at the moment. Jeff Fennec towards the end of round two. In the neutral corner. Fennec won't let him out. He's got him locked up in a Mexican jail. Oh, and Villasana. Oh, Tops Villasana a right from Fennec. Right Fennec's speed and strength inside is so dominant. A great right again by Fennec. He won't leave uh, Villasana alone. There's the end of the round. And Marcus Villasana walks back to his uh, walks back to his stool in the red corner and wonders just what he's got to do to get some blows in on Fennec. Well, the smile has gone from Marcos Villasana's foot face in the corner. He doesn't look so calm and confident now because Fennec is just exerting enormous pressure on him, Zorb. He, Villasana has never met a fighter like Fennec. He's met the great ones like Nielsen, but they haven't put pressure on him the way that Fennec has. Certainly not. Fennec is there. Fennec getting a warning now from the referee, Joe Cortez, about pulling the head down of Marcus Villasana. But I think that would be water off a duck's back. Fennec, relentless. And the thing that uh, Villasana won't know is that this pressure will be for every round of the fight from Jeff Fennec. Let's have a look at the replay. Grant Lee Keyser. Watch for, what, they've got to watch those heads in close there, Zorb, because this action is so intense inside, the heads are swinging around, someone might get a cut eye. Fennec's big uppercut. Tremendous there. Good left from Villasana. Look at Fennec, here's the shoulder, look at and Fennec's then square him off. Here we go for round three. Oh, and the, the heads, heads came clashed. together. The that heads came together clash. like a couple of billy goats. And uh, now the left coming out from Villasana. Underneath goes Villasana. Good crisp punching by the Mexican. Fennec comes back with a right. And a low blow from Jeff Fennec there. What a fight. What a fight this is in the third round now. We've seen loads of action. Action that uh, I'm sure you've thoroughly enjoyed in the pubs and clubs around Australia. Goodyear, tyre and brake service bring you the action.
and Jeff Fennick, relentless in his pursuit of the Mexican bandito, Marcus Villasana. But Villasana can fight. He's come to fight. He said he's willing to die to win this championship. And uh, he is in there every inch of the way. He's hit him low again, Zorby. Punched Fennick on the thigh there. Banging away at Marcus Villasana is like chipping at a rock. Eventually he'll go, but before he does, there's a lot of work for Fennec to do. There certainly is another low blow by uh, by the Mexican, and it will be a point deduction. An automatic point deduction if he's warned again for a low blow. Oh, there's one. Fennec comes back with the right hand. Right and hits him with a low blow. Fennec replies in kind. Well, that he's was... fighting fire with fire and low blows with low blows. That right hand was better than the one-point penalty, Zorb, as far as Fennec was concerned. They he... might fight well in the back streets of Mexico City, but they do too in the sub in a suburb of Sydney called Marrickville, where oh, Fennec has had many a blow. Tremendous. Yeah, heads are coming together all the time. Yes, there's a lot of headbutting going on, Grantley, but uh, Fennec giving as good as he's getting in every department. Well, Fe Villasana wants the war inside, but that's suiting Fennec because his strength is superior inside and he's able to bring Villasana under the uppercut. Great work right by Fennec. Great work right by Fennec. The Mexican almost toggling there in round three. Johnny Lewis, his trainer, telling him to go after him. The sting has gone out of the Mexican. Fennec's relentless punishment for almost three rounds now is taking its toll on the Mexican. How tough is Villasana, but he just stands there. Yeah, well, uh, he can take so much. He's giving some back now to Jeff Fennec. Fennec goes down low, then hits him with a left uppercut. And the head down again from Villasana. Villasana has had so many hard fights, Zorb. He's proved himself, but I don't think he's ever had a fight that's been this hard. Certainly not such a quick, hard opening from Fennec. Well, Fennec weighed nine stone this morning. He's about nine eight now, and he's using every bit of it. Look at Fennec go after Villasana. Villasana, game as anybody I've seen against Fennec. How long can he hang in there and suffer the punishment? Look at that rock stuff inside. Fennec just continually uppercutting. Well, Villasana smiles at that punishment from Fennec, but Fennec doesn't give him any respite. A right from Fennec, that rocked the Mexican. Another right oh. from Fennec, a great left from Villasana. Villasana came war. back with a left hook there. Fennec's got to be careful inside because he's... I think Fennec thinks he can walk through any of the punches that Villasana's got. Another great round. And listen to the fans. They're loving the action here at the National Tennis Centre. Bradley Keezer, another 10 round nine for Jeffrey Fennec. Well, Fennec's won every round so far, but Villasana is still there and still dangerous. He's firing that left hook all the time. He's landing him low. He's landing him on Fennec's chin. He's still going to be dangerous as long as he's in the ring. Fennec talking to Johnny Lewis at the moment. He's well aware of what's going on. Here's the referee yeah, going over to Fennec. Okay, Fennec said, watch his head, and uh, the referee said he will. Let's have a look at the low blow. There it is, right around the groin region of Jeff Fennec, and then another left from Villasana, but uh, what a magic right from Jeff Fennec after it. What a rumble, what a brawl. Barroom brawl, this one, with boxing gloves on. And, and uh, Jeff Fennec fighting for his WBC featherweight crown again tonight here. And the fans loving it in the Melbourne National Tennis Centre. Fennec has a mouse over his right eye from Villasana's left hook. Let's hope it doesn't get any worse. Okay, I'm sure the head caused it. Okay, yeah, I think you're probably right. Right above us now. Fennec getting underneath at Villasana. Marcus Villasana against Jeffrey Fennec. A left by Fennec and a left by Villasana. Gee, this is a rough hour. Oh, the jab Good by Villasana. Great jab by Villasana. Tremendous right day from Fennec coming back and walking through Villasana's punches. Good left again by Fennec. Gee, he's timing spot on tonight. Bringing him onto the uppercut again. Body punches now by Fennec. Underneath he goes, and uh, he's rocking Villasana. Good oh, left, right hand and right right That's Fennec. the best punch of the fight. Yes, it is. A great punch by Jeff Fennec, a left and right. And Villasana rocked on his feet there for a moment, but he jabs out the left. Both punches score with a the left there. A right by Fennec and a left by Fennec. I can't believe how tough Villasana is. I knew he was hard, but he's just absorbing Fennec's punches without flinching. Yes, and now in the neutral corner, Villasana has uh, really must be wondering when this tornado with the goatee beard is going to stop coming in at him. Fennec fighting like Roberto Duran, looking like Duran, and certainly giving no respite to the Mexican. But the Mexican's game, he goes underneath. Look at Fennec now, raining blows on Villasana. But Villasana's defence inside is still...
still good. He's slipping. Yeah, he certainly He's slipping is. punches. And look at him staying on Fennec's chest to nullify Fennec's uppercut. He didn't stay away from that right, though, from Fennec. Can Fennec keep up this relentless pace after the big weight loss of almost a stone in a week? Can he hang in there? He's a freak. He's going to have to be to keep up this pace. That weight loss would debilitate any other fighter in the world, Rob, but I don't think it will harm Jeff Fennec because he's so mentally tough. He is mentally tough and he is physically tough and uh, he refuses to give an inch. Look at him go. The pace of the man, the relentless pursuit of the man. On, How would you we'll like him chasing you? We'll you. I think that uh, Gigi, if it's been on the run, he would have felt like this fellow feels now. I think the best way to beat Jeff Fennec is to fall to your knees and beg for mercy. Well, Fennec after him like the police were after Friedrich during the week. Fennec, Fennec relentless in his pursuit. And just like the police, Fennec is catching his man every time. He rocked him there with a right. Villasana still on his feet. The eyes, not so sparkly now, from the man from Acapulco. Ah, Fennec trying to send him in to Acapulco. Look at Fennec go. Villasana coming after him. Villasana won bugs. Fennec bangs away and Villasana just stands there, tries to slip some more. Good left by Villasana, right over the top. Underneath goes Villasana. Fennec comes back at him. let's go. Well, Fennec is out punching Villasana 10 to 1, but Villasana is still there, still fighting hard. Well, Fennec goes back to his corner, the end of round three, and Jeff Fennec dominating the opening three rounds, the opening four rounds. Okay, what would Johnny Lewis be applying to that? Just cold pack? Johnny, Lu Johnny Lewis has got the, the gauze on it. He's got a little uh, adrenal solution there to try and seal whatever nicks there might be. Over Phoenix's left eye, there's also swelling. Let's look at the action. Both exchanging right hands there. Villasana comes up with the left hook. Phoenix comes up with the left hook. And look at Fennec go underneath as they push and shove around. Their heads come together. This is such a war, such a torrid fight in close. It certainly is. Here they come for round five. Fennec on his toes, superbly fit, and uh, there are a few sportsmen in Australia as fit as Fennec. Fennec rushes past the referee to get at Villasana. He's saying, I'm not going to give you any respite. There is never going to be anything but my head right in front of you. Villasana still in there, and a very courageous and very gutsy challenger. Already, I think Villasana has commanded the respect of everybody in this National Tennis Centre, this capacity crowd. He's just so hard. Fennec nails him with a left hook. And a right over the top by Fennec. Villasana starting to feel the pinch a little now as we're in round five. Fennec just gets away from the referee, brushes Cortez aside and says, let me get at him. And get at him he does. In the blue corner, Jeffrey Fennec raining blows on Villasana. Villasana fights back using beautiful ring craft. Round five was the round that both Georgie Navarro and Tyrone Downs went in this very ring, in this very stadium. Marcos Villasana is determined not to go. He wants to be there at the end of the 12 rounds. Well, a great left by Fennec. Rock Villasana there. Fennec looking for three fives as he goes underneath now. Ah, oh, great left there by Villasana. Coming back strongly underneath. Fennec covers up, doesn't come back. Villasana says, you beauty, I've hit him a few times. But here comes Fennec again. Fennec raining blows now on Villasana. Underneath he goes. Jeff Fennec, underneath. A little bit of a breather for Jeff Fennec in this round. I think round. so. Well, he started the, round, the start of the fight in such fantastically quick fashion that he's entitled to a little bit of a breather. Fennec now with a left. Villasana chases after him. Relentless is the Mexican. As Grantley Keeser says, Low up again. as Granite. Low blow again by Villasana. And the shouting from the crowd, what are you blind? The referee Joe Cortez, that was blatantly low. It was low and not even a warning on that occasion. Let's go. Two warnings against Villasana for low blow. Again, and the again, was low. Low. Oh, again, low blow again. again. That's got to be a point off. He's taking a point away. One point off. 
There's a point off, he said. And this was the same round that Villasano was penalised in his last World title fight against Asparagosa. The fifth okay, round, there it is. Three low blows, the automatic one-point deduction. As we said earlier in the round, it's going to be tough for Villasana now to win this round. That's in round five, one point off Villasana. Benick up on his toes. This is what he always planned to do from the start of the fight. Finally, around five, he gets up on the toes, but no sooner does he go straight to the body again. He's well, on the, the toes. crowd ranting now. Fennec, Fennec, a great lift by Fennec. That rock Villasana right from his from his mouth down to his toes. No backhand, says the referee. We are in the tennis centre. A backhand down the line by Jeff Fennec. Pat Cash would have been proud of that one. He's in the crowd. A great right by Fennec and a left by Fennec. Fennec coming after Villasana. Villasana with a windy whoop over the top of Fennec. These guys are just two heaving skeletons of bone and muscles of inside the action is so torrid and fierce. Well, that's got to be around to Fennec with a point taken off. Marcus Villasana, Gruntley Giza. Again, Fennec dominating the action. Villasana couldn't win that round because of the point deduction. I've got Fennec already. Five points ahead is going to be very hard for Marcus Villasano to win. OK, Fennec. let's have a look at the low blow as Jeff Fennec spits out some blood. This is the blow by Villasano. There it is. That's the blow underneath. In comes Cortez. Look at Fennec's face. And uh, he just says to the three judges at ringside, one sitting next to me here in the commentary position, point off, point deduction for the third low blow of the fight. Well, we always knew Marcos Villasano was the rough, tough man. He's proving it tonight because anything goes as far as he's concerned. Well, I'm sure you're enjoying the action live on Sky Channel right around Australia. Thanks to Goodyear, Tire and Brake Service. What a rumble here at the National Tennis Centre in Melbourne. The Mexican camp very worried as they work on the legs of Marcus Villasana. He's slumped in the, in the corner. He gives a little sign of the cross before he comes out in round six. A low again to start for Villasana. Villasana just can't help himself, Zorb. He's such he a... Oh, oh, again, again, again. And look at Fennec rushing at him. Look at Fennec. Yes. He's talking to him in Mexican. But he's, he's saying to him, that's your last warning. I hope Fennec, Fennec doesn't berserk. go berserk. Fennec's gone mad as he chases Villasana. Look at Fennec's face. He just hates this guy so much. Well, he certainly copped four low blows and a point up in round five. And he's got right at it again in round six, Villasana. He's willing to do anything to win this World Championship belt from Jeff Fennec. Fennec's got him in his own corner, right above Johnny Lewis, his trainer. He's still punching out the Mexican. Fennec underneath, brilliant blows. Look at Fennec go. But always, Villasana comes back. Zorb, before this fight, Jack Rennie predicted Villasana would be disqualified. The way Villasana's going with those low blows, he very well may be. Well, Fennec's got a big lead, so Villasana is standing there now, trading blows with Fennec. Marcus Villasana has found something in round six. What but a wall. This is Fennec. unbelievable. Inside, they are just raining punches on each other. How this is a is fabulous fight. I'm sure you're enjoying it all around Australia on Sky. Look at Jeffrey Fennec. Watch your head, Jeffrey, says the referee, as he goes after Villasana again. Relentless in his pursuit, like a mounted police. Fennec, perhaps the hardest punching featherweight in the world, but he can't put Villasana down. Jeff Fennec defending his WBC featherweight championship of the world. Villasana comes back now, but Fennec comes back at him and gives him the same in kind with more power. Villasana and Fennec, this is a two-man war. The two nine stoners showing their weight around the ring here. And referee Cortez working overtime. Well, we're nearly breathless calling this. Imagine how these two guys feel. They just haven't stopped hitting each other all night. This is a tremendous fight. This is a real world championship. And Fennec is a real world champion. The man is a freak. If you just realise what he's got to do to make nine stone and still get into the ring as fit as he is, he is an incredible champion. Look at him go. But you've got to give 100 out of 100 to Villasana. He's sitting on the ropes and giving Fennec back plenty. Scoring well, Villasana. There's Fennec getting in closer and says, I'm still here. Ah, raining guys on him. coming back, but how much more can he take? Surely. Towards the end of round six. Oh, I Fennec, know. Fennec hurt hitting him. him with everything by the kitchen. The crowd senses it. And still oh, he has Fennec just banged him again. Fennec is tired from hitting him. And why not? How must Villasana feel? 
What a war! What a fight! There's the end of round six. What a fabulous fight! An unbelievable fight! Coming to you live from the National Tennis Centre in Melbourne on Sky Channel. Thanks to Goodyear Tire and Brake Service. And can you believe that Marcos Villasana ended that round with a triple left hook that brought both his feet off the ground. He is still in there firing with every bit of muscle he has. Fennec has not stopped punching him from the opening bell. He's a couple of times he's rushed from his corner to get at Villasana, but Villasana is still there. Fennec is winning the fight easily. Not, not easily, but a big points margin. Villasana won't budge. Let's have a look at Villasana on the ropes now. And the relentless Jeff Fennec chasing him. There's the shoulder, the rugby league shoulder charge, which has stood him in good stead in this fight. Look at Villasana, looking at Fennec eye to eye. The eye of the tiger from both these fighters tonight. Gee, this is a magnificent contest. That was a sign of mutual respect when they both dropped their hands. These guys just respect each other so much because they are both such proud warriors. They certainly are, the Aztec warrior and the Australian warrior. And here they are in centre ring again, throwing blows. Those red gloves, well, they're only going to be used once, but uh, they've certainly uh, used the leather more than they would have in uh, 10 other fights. In one fight here tonight, they're working OT. The, the leather gloves that are worn by both boxers tonight, the red gloves, and they've both taken a hammering from them. Jeff Fennec in there and leaning in on Marcus Villasana in round seven. Well, Villasana's going to need a big toothpick to scrape the leather out of his mouth after this fight, but he still won't stop fighting back. He certainly won't. We're only at the halfway mark. Have you ever seen as much action Grant Lee Kizer in a fight? Villasana just landed low again. I have not never seen such a fantastic start to a Fennec fight, Zorb. By so this a... stage, any, I think any other of his opponent, apart from another Mexican, Daniel Zaragoza, would have kissed the canvas a couple of times. But Villasana will not go down and, in fact, always responds with a left hook or two of his own. There's low again. And every time he hits low, Fennec says, hey, what are you doing? Fennec going after him now, underneath again. That right underneath is lining Villasana up. How much can this Mexican cop? He won't fall. Well, Fennec promised before the fight that if Villasana hit him low, he would get hit low back double. But Fennec, to his credit, has not resorted to illegalities. Sure he's, he's, he's following the plan of Johnny Lewis perfectly. Here's Villasana countering well off the ropes. Fennec has him there, but Villasana weaving, bobbing, still showing that he's a great athlete in superb condition. He's come to take Fennec's crown. Right now, he's behind, but he's still in there, and he refuses to budge. I thought Fennec would box more in this fight. I thought he would use the jab more, but he, he from the opening bell, he has wanted to show his superiority in strength and conditioning. And he hit him there with a right underneath Fennec, and uh, there was a lot of red saliva coming out of the mouth of the Mexican. Again, Fennec gets in towards the right. Then the heads start bumping together. Villasana using the head. Fennec leaving ears there right at the moment as he goes after Villasana again. Oh, what the a heads war. together. The heads together again. Villasana, he is a great warrior, as you said. He's in there all the way. What a rumble. What a fight. How long can they keep it up for? Put hands out. Come on. Let's go. Watch out. Watch your heads inside. There's the voice of the referee, Joe Cortez. Watch your heads inside. Um, unless the weight factor starts to tell against Fennec now, Zorb, I can't see him losing this fight. But while Marcos Villasana is still standing on his feet, he is still in with a puncher's chance against Fennec because he can punch with that big left hook and Fennec is giving him many opportunities so far. Towards the end of round seven of the world title fight here, the WBC featherweight fight, live on Sky around the nation. Hope you're enjoying the action. Ringside, Peter Peterson, Grant Lee Kieser at the end and of the they round. Punch and they punch on the bell. Jeff Fennec goes back to the blue corner and right in the Mexican, Marcus Villasana to the red corner. And listen to the fans give their approval. And a lot of that is for Villasana.
the breathing of Fennec. Johnny Lewis rubbing Vaseline on his stomach. That's the only substance allowed to be used in the corner is Vaseline. Fennec just whispering to Lewis. Manny Hinton holding out the shorts to allow Fennec's diaphragm to swell with air, giving him every opportunity to catch his breath. That's normally the job of Brantley Keezer, my car commentator tonight. There's the chair. What a physique. There's Johnny Lewis not showing any signs of uh, distress in the corner. As I was saying, Zorb, I don't know if they mine granite near Acapulco, Mexico, but they certainly have a big reserve of it in, in Marcos Villasana because he is like a rock in there. He certainly is, and uh, here we are now, back in centre ring, and uh, it's certainly a tremendous fight. Here we are in round eight now, so into the championship half of the fight now, finally, and the action has been a plenty. They've certainly got to slow up, surely. I don't think Marcos Villasano has won a round so far, Zorb. I think Fennec has dominated every round to some extent. But I've Marcos... I've scored that last round about square. Yeah. Up there. Another, uh, another new punch in the artillery of Jeff Fennec tonight. Oh, great right. Underneath he goes again, Fennec. Geez, put some new punches uh, on show here tonight as he covers up Villasana. Now reverses rolls. He's got Fennec on the ropes. Oh, look at Fennec. Ring car. Gets out of the court. Gets out of the ropes. Very easy. Brilliantly now. This is what he planned to do from the outset of the fight, but he just wanted to show Villasana when the action started that he was the stronger, that he was the true champion. Well, Fennec is going to show him that he has science as well as uh, that undeniable skill of rumbling in place. Look at him dance now, Jeff Fennec, just showing what a great champion he is. Dropping the guard. Oh, oh great punch up. underneath. Beautiful punch yeah, underneath by Fennec. He faded with his left and then hit him square on the jaw underneath. A beautiful right uppercut from Jeffrey Fennec. Look at the champion fight. Well, he's showing he is showing but he can get away with it all because he is such a great champion. He's bringing Villasana onto the uppercut. Fennec has the quicker hands. Come on, you're holding the head down. You're holding the head. Johnny Lewis would have told him before the start of this round, Jeff, all you have to do is box for him in this fight. Don't take any chances. Don't risk a cut eye in place. And Fennec unloading. Beautiful right underneath by Jeff Fennec. Now going in the body and then upstairs again on Villasana. Villasana has become a virtual punching bag now for Jeff Fennec. Fennec showboating and showing that he has science as well as brawn and showing that he is the complete WBC featherweight champion of the world. A truly great champion. Well, Villasana is so tough, but he just doesn't have the skills of Fennec. Villasana's best chance to win this fight was that the action went inside and he could land that big left hook on Fennec's chin. But he, so far, hasn't really had the opportunity as Fennec comes back with the right hand. Yes, after bobbing and weaving and making the Mexican miss. This man has been the distance with Asparagoza. He's been the distance with the, the great Azuma Nelson. And now he's saying to Fennec, come up to me. Come up to me. Villasana's smiling, smiling at Fennec now as he comes after Jeffrey Fennec in round eight. And the champ says, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. This has been such a great display by Fennec. He came in wearing Mike Tyson's colours with the Roberto Duran beard. Now he's boxing like Sugar Ray Leonard, up on the toes, showboating, landing the bolo uppercuts. Well, Fennec with a great reputation now in the United States and the US of A, seeing just now, right at this moment, we're going live to the USA, Italy and Mexico. And there'll be a lot of worried faces south of the border, down Mexico way, right at this moment, as Jeff Fennec really gives it to Marcus Villasana. After eight, hour, eight rounds, how do you see it? Grantley Keezer. Well, I've got Fennec ahead by six points, Zorb. Marcos Villasana is losing the fight, but everybody in Mexico can be proud of him because he is just staying with Fennec all the way. He's gone the distance in his three previous world title fights. It looks like he'll go the distance again tonight. We said it would be Fennec's hardest fight. I think it has been. I made that a 10-10 round. Um, I think Fennec had a breather there, up on the tippy toes. Certainly hitting with plenty of blows, but uh, just in, in uh, a little bit of reverse gear there for Fennec. He got on the ropes and then got out and, uh, and evaded very well. So who could blame him for taking a bit of a breather? He's lost, had to take a stone off in the last 10 days. And here he is, he hasn't stopped punching from round one. Okay, five rounds to go. Can Fennec keep going? I think he can, Zorb. I think he's got this fight sewn up. Villasana's always going to be in with Four the chance. Four rounds to go, of course. Four rounds to go. Jeff Fennec, superbly fit. Against a very fit Mexican in Villasana. 
Did Fennec have a wrist oh, in the last round? Villasana. They won't stop throwing punches, big punches. And the heads are moving around and very dangerously up there at the moment. If the fight is stopped with a headbutt, well, um, it's going to be very interesting then, Grant Keezer. Well, that's right. I, I think Fennec has it all sewn up on, as far as the scorecards go, if there is a cut eye caused by a butt. But let's hope that doesn't happen because that would mar such a magnificent and memorable fight. This has been Fennec's best display, I think, in his career, in light of the opponent that he's met. This has been a magic display by Fennec. His timing has been magnificent. He's walking through some heavy blows, too, from the Mexican. I've never seen Jeff Fennec tested like this. I know he's dominated the action, but really, Villasana has offered more grit and more toughness, I think, than any of Fennec's opponents. The fight with Daniel Zaragoza three years ago was a hard one, but I think Villasana has Zaragoza's measure. Come on. Yes, he certainly has, and uh, Fennec won every the round against right Zaragoza, and uh, he certainly right hasn't lost any right round tonight. Again. Some of them might have been squared, but uh, he definitely hasn't oh, lost a round right there, tonight, Jeff Fennec. The WBC featherweight champion, ship of the world here tonight, live on Sky Channel, thanks to Goodyear Tire and Brake Service, right around the nation of Australia and overseas too. And I'm sure overseas boxing fans are seeing how great this little man is from Marrickville, Sydney, Australia, Jeffrey Fennec and the Black Shorts. You know, so I think one of the reasons for so many low blows from Villasana in this fight is that he is so desperate. He just can't help himself. The action is another low one. He's just throwing everything inside. He doesn't think where they're going, he just puts them together. Watch your head inside, says the referee. Fennec Slip is starting to, uh, uh, to oh, slow a again, bit. Low again. And a good punch there from Villasana. Villasana put quick hands together on the ropes. Fennec backed into the ropes and Villasana responded as only he can. Well, certainly it's uh, it's Fennec in there now and uh, lots of blood inside that uh, mouth of Jeff Fennec. His lip is swollen and he's caught plenty of punishment from the Mexican, but the Mexican is still there, getting punches from Fennec now in the neutral corner. Jeffrey Fennec raining blows now and gets the head in close. Fennec looks tired, but he won't inside, show. His Jeff face looks tired, but his body just keeps going. He has a weary expression on his face, but his arms won't stop throwing punches. Well, here we are in round nine. Still the war continues, and it looks as though it'll go the entire distance. Both these tough men refuse to budge one inch. Great right underneath by Villasana. And a good left and a right by Villasana again underneath. Then, oh, oh and hit the left hit the referee. Right at the end of the fight, I think he did. Joey Cortez getting in there. And he's going to collect. He had, he's earned his money here tonight, Joey Cortez. Look at Villasana in the corner. Fennec almost decked the referee. I don't think that any referee has ever had to work this hard, Zorb. He's just not stopped he's trying to separate these guys. Okay, certainly a tremendous fight. Just a reminder to all the Sky Channel outlets in the Newcastle area, you uh, will not be able to take the next fight there on May 12 between Jeff the Hitman Harding and uh, his opponent uh, from, from Mexico in that fight. Argentina, it's, it's the Argentina. That's, of course, Dario Mattioni, Zorb, the top Argentine guy, coming here with a terrific record, only one defeat in 20 fights. OK, into the action now for what is going to be round 10. Villasana just coming up with the left hook there, shook the spray. Oh, Fennec coming back on Villasana, and the sweats on their head is just spraying all over this ring. Villasana desperate with that left hook, Fennec with the left hook. Great left by Fennec, and you can see the spray come from the uh, warded head of uh, Villasana, and a great right there by Fennec. Measuring. Fennec measuring him up by another low blow by the Mexican. Been plenty of them. Fennec's going to have sore thighs and sore groin area tomorrow. Look at Fennec up on his toes. He's trying to draw the Mexican in onto another of those big uppercuts. Oh, Fennec unloading with the hook and right cross there. When Fennec gets up on the toes, he makes the fight look easy because Villasana cannot match him for speed. No, Fennec he draws Villasana can't. in and counter punches with that right hand and the uppercut. Villasana, geez, tough though. He's in there now, pursuing Fennec and putting his punches together and shaking his head as if to say, Oh, I'm Fennec still just here. hit Villasana low. 
Cortez saying to both fighters, I told you both to keep them out. Come on, get those arms out. Get those arms out of there. Come on. All right, break out. See you guys on golpe arriba. Oh, Fennec with the right there. A bomb right. from Fennec. Villasana is still in there, and he thinks he's got a chance. And my word, he has to. But this relentless little Australian, and a proud Australian too, he won't give in. He will give his all in these final rounds, the championship rounds, when the tough get going. And if you thought Villasana was fighting with a desperate fury in the early rounds, just have a think about how he's feeling now. Oh, oh no, he's right, Fennec. Fennec. He's Fennec. nailed Fennec there. Fennec but comes nailed. straight back. And he comes straight back, the sign of a champion, How but he walked into that one. How tough are these guys? They certainly are. Fennec walks straight back. Villasana hit him with his best shot, and he must wonder what he's got to hit Fennec with. Jeff, Johnny Lewis is saying, box, Jeff, box. Johnny Lewis Don't looking very there. concerned in the corner. He's telling Fennec to get up in his toes and move. Well, what a change in complexion in round 10. Villasana coming after Fennec now. Underneath Phil goes Sana the is Mexican warrior. Tremendous shots in there. Jeff Fennec, a big early lead. Villasana coming back. Fennec straight back on top of him. How strong is Fennec? Goodness. Look at him just leaning on Villasana. Fennec's face contorted. Underneath he goes with another one. Fennec has dropped his hands. Is that a sign of tightness or cockiness? A little of both, I think, Zorb. I've never seen Jeff Fennec do this in a fight. Right there. comes back with a right hand. And he looks at Villasana as if to say, look at the, is that your best shot? Johnny Lewis is so concerned, he's screaming at Fennec. Well, that's a great round of Villasana. Villasana, I think, took the other Villasana's best round of the fight, Zorb. Not enough yet for him to have any shape of winning this fight, but certainly enough to show Jeff Fennec that he is the toughest man that Fennec has ever had to fight. Johnny Lewis telling Jeff Fennick his face is starting to mark up quite badly. Let's have a look at the replay of that bomb by Villasana and here it is a left by Villasana, a great punch another left underneath by Villasana then it comes back but Villasana certainly taking the honours in that round for the Mexicans very cocky in the red corner at the moment Fennick's nose and mouth certainly have copped the hammering here we are now in right, round 11. 11 uh, coming up, right, 11 and 12 to go here clean. at the Melbourne International Tennis Centre, the National Tennis Centre in Melbourne. You're on Sky oh. Channel. What a fight this is. What a war it's been, Zor. What a war. These guys are just drenched in sweat. Their they faces. certainly are. Incredible fight. Imagine how they'll be feeling after this. They won't be able to move for a week, either of them. Villasana especially, because he's taken everything that Fennec has thrown. Fennec, an absolute out now champion. What a worthy challenger, though. The man from Acapulco, swinging there with a the left that misses. A great display. Oh, Fennec nails him with the right hand. But Villasana, hanging on, won't go down. Tremendous right by Fennec. Starting to assume control again. And a oh, great but left hand by Fennec. Right by Fennec. Fennec. Right, we're going, we're going. Again the stalker. Yeah, back, Again the aggressor. Back, back. Didn't like that last round. Villasana says, here I am. Come and get me. He wants Fennec to rumble. Fennec's got the big lead. He's just got a box. And Villasana, Villasana says, come and get me. I'm ready for you. Swinging right by Villasana. Fennec has dropped his guard. Is it tightness? I think it could be. I think it is. I think it is, Zorb. Has that amazing feet he he's knows taking he's a... off over a stone and is it starting to tell now but he's Fennec, still in there the brilliant champion evading shots there Fennec knows that he's way ahead on points what all he has to do is stay upright and he wins big what a marvel Fennec showing great sportsmanship there he could have hit Villasana there 
round 11 midway through round 11 and the war continues the 12 round war at the national tennis center and look at the bounce in Phoenix feet if he's tired his legs aren't showing and he's still up on his toes he's moving he's dancing this is war with no peace Definitely war with no peace here tonight. Starring Jeff Fennick of Australia and Marcus Villasana of Mexico. Let's go. The rumble down under. I'm sure the pubs and clubs oh, of Australia are cheering Fennick on. But they'll have good sports that Australians are. The utmost respect for this very tough Mexican. And what sort of ovation do you think they'll get when this fight's over, Zorb? It'll lift Honestly. the roof off the tennis centre. It comes off anyway, but I think they'll lift it up. Fennec's mouth. A bloodied mess at the moment. This fight is one of the best I've ever seen. Not in terms of closeness, not in terms of the proximity of the scoring, but in the heart that Villasana has shown and the determination that Fennec has displayed. There's the end of the second last round, round 11. And what a fight. Jeff Fennec and Marcus Villasana. Round 12 to go. And Fennec only has to remain on his feet to retain the WBC featherweight championship of the world. I don't think Villasana could win this fight with an axe now. But I guess while he's still in there, he still has a hope. He really does because he's got that big left hook. I can't see Fennec going down. I know he's been up on his toes and... He's been keeping Villasana at bay. I think he's going to do that for the rest of this round. Fennec spinning blood. Joey Cortez telling Fennec it's the last round. I think it would have been the sweetest words he's ever heard. This has been his toughest fight, even though he's going to win it by a clear margin. And the fans here starting to roar with their delight here. But the last round comes up. The two Warriors will touch gloves. There's Joey Cortez. He's worked as hard as the fighters in this round. Villasana sucking the oxygen in. And look at the mutual respect there. Fennec actually smiled there at Villasana. He knows that he, that he got to stay on his feet. Villasana chasing him now. If I had a hat, I would take it off to Marcos Villasana Zor because I just admire his courage and tenacity so much. And the chair, the chair goes up for Fennec, looking very fresh. Jeff Fennec, what an amazing performer. There's the headbutt. The chair goes up. Fennec, Fennec, right around this massive stadium. It'll be a standing ovation. What a fight. If you were thinking of coming oh. and you didn't, you've missed one of the all-type epic belts. Fennec would, on one hand, just love to stop Marcos Villasana here, but on another level, as a great sportsman that he is, I think he'd like to see Villasana go the distance as a tribute to his courage. Villasana has come this far now. What an amazing performance by Jeff Fennec. Will this be his last fight as a featherweight? Will he try well and unify the titles against the Sparagosa, or will he step up and try and capture the crown that is now sitting atop Azuma Nelson? Nobody has ever beaten Marcus Villasana like this. Azuma Nelson caught him twice for two close points decisions in Villasana's last go at the championship. It was a draw, and he would have won had it not been for low punching penalties. This Villasana is desperate. Then it comes after him in the final round. Jeff Fennec now is on his way to retaining the WBC featherweight championship of the world. The scoring of this fight will reflect that Fennec truly is the best featherweight in the world. There's no doubt about it. I don't think there ever has been any doubt about it for his last four or five fights. Asparagosa, the only man who could really dispute that, was pushed all the way by Villasana and nearly beaten by him last year. Marcus Villasana, gallant tonight, but look at Villasana. He's still in there trying the Mexican. What a gallant fighter. But look at Jeff Fennec. I don't know who's the ball. The ball from Merrillville against the ball from Acapulco. And the Aussie ball has got more in his tank. The batteries have never gone out of the Mexican jumping ball. Oh, Chili dog, no way. In the final moments of the fight now, Almost to the end of round 12, Jeff Fennec will retain the WBC featherweight championship of the world. What a fight it's been, Zob. This has just been more action than you could see in 10 other championship fights. This will be the fight of the year, I'm sure. And he'll sleep well tonight, I'm sure. 22 seconds left in the fight. There'll be no knockdown tonight, Zob. There'll be no knockout here. 
there won't be. Both fighters uh, will go uh, the distance without being off their feet, and how I'll never know. For only the fourth time in his career, Jeff Fennick goes the distance. What a great performance by Fennick, though. Look at him dancing. He can still dance after losing all that weight. There's the end of the what fight. A fight. What a great fight. What a Jeff great Fennick fight. has retained, I'm sure, his WBC featherweight championship of the world. Look at Fennick and listen to the crowd roar. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Arlen Bynum awards Jeff Fennick 117 points, Marcos Villasana, 109 points. <laughs> Harold Liederman, Jeff Fennick, 118 points, Marcos Villasana, 109 points. Fennick wins the fight. Jerry Roth, Jeff Fennick, 118 points. Marcos Villasana, 109 points. By unanimous decision, retaining his WBC featherweight championship of the world, increasing his record to 23 contests for as many victories. Australia's greatest boxer of any time, Jeff Fennec.